Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, I'm Eddie V and on my channel I'll discuss investing in stocks and ETFs as well as personal finance. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my trading view environment in four easy steps and this is what I use for looking at candlestick charts and my weekly and daily statistics for momentum trading. Before I get into trading view, if you found value in this content, do me a favor and hit the like button and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. With that, I'll roll the intro. Once you get to trading view, this will be your homepage. And if you haven't already, click up here, the person, and you want to sign in or create an account. So once you click the little person here, you can click sign in. And for me, I, I set my account up using uh, Facebook. Feel free to use any of these or email and password. So I'm gonna click Facebook here. That'll log, log me into my account. And next you want to go up here into chart to open up the charts. So once you click charts, the default chart is gonna be this candlestick as you see here on top, the candlestick chart, and you're gonna have volume down here at the bottom. The first thing we want to do, uh, step one is gonna be adding your moving averages to the candlestick and to the volume. So we're going to go up here at the top, you can see indicators. So we have compare indicator templates, so it'll be indicators. And we want to search for SMAs. You can see here already favorited SMAs, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be searching. So you hit SMAs, and you can see here down below, it'll generally be your top one. We want to, the one I use is the 10, 50, 100, and 200. So click that once, and you can see here, it populated here on the left. So we can just exit out of here. And what you wanna do is hover above here and click the gear. So uh, first, let's hop over to the input. And for me, I've been using, instead of 10, uh, 25 day, not 125, 25. <laughs> uh, 25 day moving average, then the other ones you can leave the same, 50, 100, and 200. Switching back over to style, uh, you can use any color scheme you want. I'll be showing you the color scheme I've learned and got accustomed to looking at when viewing charts. So for my 25 day boom average, I have purple. For the 50, yellow. 100 is gonna be this turquoise teal color. And for the 200, it'll be white. So that's just when I was learning charts, the color scheme uh, we used. So you can click okay here. And the last moving average is gonna be on volume. So just hover over volume and click the gear. And you can just check this volume moving average and you can choose any color you like. So I just have orange. All right, so that completes uh, step one, adding uh, moving averages. Step two, we're gonna add our two statistics. So go up here to the indicators again. And we're gonna look for a statistic. Uh, S-T-O-C-H. And you can see, uh, once again, I favorited, and it'll be uh, close to the top, so just pick the regular statistics, and you can click that twice. So one more, there we go. So we have both our statistics right there. And then you can just close this puppy out. All right, so right here, we added the two statistics. We're gonna make the top one our weekly, and the bottom one our daily. And you can interchange them. Uh, that's just what I use. Step three is gonna be customizing our weekly and step four is gonna be customizing our daily. So right here, just hover above the statistic right there and go to the gear. First thing we wanna do is change the K and D color. I generally use K as the red line and yellow for the D line. And also the default is 80 and 20. So I like to have a higher threshold of 32 just so that when it crosses the 32 it has enough momentum volume to keep that uptrend going and that's why I choose that over the default of 20. So we have that set go over here to the inputs. So here our first one is going to be our weekly so we want to change the time frame to weekly and then we have our K length our K smoothing and our, our D smoothing. Just at a high level of what the K value is, it, it's a formula they have and Future IDV will post the formula here. 
somewhere on the page. <laughs> but they have takes your the current share price and minus the low end share price on end amount of periods that you choose and divides it by the high price of those end periods and minus the low price of the end periods. So that's the general formula. In our case, the default of the end periods is 14. Since this is a weekly, I want to have more of a history. So I'm going to use choose 19. And right now, before I go into the smoothing, percent D is just generally an average of the K value based on the value you give right here. The default is three. For the weekly, I'm going to change this to four. And if you look right here, you can see the K value. You see how it's, it has like these, these sharp spikes up and down. I want to have it more closely hugging our D trend just to have more concise uh, movement when I'm reading these charts. So I'm going to change this to keep both smoothings the same. You see it's not as jaggedy as it was before. So these are my three uh, set of 19, four and four for the weekly. And we'll just click OK. Step four, customizing our daily. So we'll go here. We'll hit the little gear. It'll pop up. So first thing, let's hit the style. And we're going to change K to red, just like before. D value to yellow. And then this bottom threshold to 32. And going back over to inputs, we're going to change the time frame to day one day and because we're looking at a smaller period uh, you can see see how jaggedy it is and th that's what i was kind of referring to before see how it's crossing yellow crossing back crossing the d value going back and forth when i'm looking at the momentum when the k value is crossing the d value that's showing to me a reversal in either a downtrend or an uptrend. So that's why I want the smoothing a bit closer. Just to have more of a concise, you know, this is definitely a reversal. Also, since we're looking at the day value here, I'm going to lower this from the default 14 to 10. Just to have a more concise time view of what's happening at this current moment. And what I generally use, the um, we're pretty much finished here. I'll click OK. The weekly statistic is for more long trades, like week to week, month to month trading. And the daily is for swing trades, like, um, you know, Monday through Friday trade, or, you know, I, I'm looking at something on Wednesday and I'm considering trading it, you know, on Wednesday, depending on what the momentum is. For example, we're looking here at Google. And you can see right here, I may have entered, let's see, uh, if we hover over here, this is January 26. And we're crossing that 32 threshold right around here. So that's the 27th. And up here, if we keep looking at this day, daily statistic right there, you have that crossover right here at the third. And that's right when the trend, it was moving upwards and now our K value is crossing over the yellow. So here, if we're on the third looking, and right now, of course, we already know what the future is based on every, everything after the third. Uh, when it crossed over, oops, my mouse moved up. When it crossed over the yellow here, it signified that moving forward, most likely we are going to be going into a downtrend. And now being, uh, what's today, the ninth? Now being the ninth, you can see how once it crossed over, the K value crossed over the D value, uh, we were basically in a downtrend. And looking at these candlesticks too, you can see that. So that's kind of how I also look at the momentum. You can see, all right, you know what? The Momentum is generally going to start going downtrend and you could tell here just looking back at the third Right. Yeah, this was the second and the third is when it went downhill And just looking back over here. Just looking at another case here uh, Right there. It was the 28th Yeah, the 28th and we had a slight downtrend right there. So we we're moving from the 20th 
upwards. Uh, that's when we kind of had a reversal right there on the 22nd. And then we had another reversal over here on the 28th. You can see just looking at the candlesticks right here, we're moving through, through those moving averages and we're, then we entered a downtrend. And that's how you, if you're doing like uh, swing trading using momentum. And if you're in the long haul uh, right here, you know, we were in the uptrend going back here. We had like a reversal. So now we were in an uptrend looking at the weekly and we didn't get into a downtrend till right there. You can see the little spike up right there. And you can tell looking at the chart, that's when the downtrend happened. So that wraps up the four steps. In summary, it is step one is adding your moving averages. Step two is adding both your statistics. Step three is customizing your weekly. And step four is customizing your daily. So if you found value in this, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and join me on my investing journey. With that, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.